Alright, today you guys will compare and contrast, compare and contrast proportional and non-proportional linear relationships. A uh, proportional relationship is between two quantities in which one is a constant multiple of the other. It is written like this, y equals kx, where k is, the, is called the constant of proportionality. This might look familiar to you. It's kind of like slope-intercept form, except the slope is called the constant of proportionality, or the k, and then the y-intercept is really zero, okay? But we don't have to write plus zero. You just leave it blank. So instead of calling it slope, now we're calling it the constant of proportionality whenever the y-intercept is zero. You can tell um, that you have a proportional relationship on a graph if it goes through the origin. So when you have your x-axis or your coordinate plane here, if your line goes through the origin, then that means you have a proportional relationship. You have that point zero, zero. And in that case, your y-intercept would just be zero. So let's talk about the constant of proportionality. It's the constant value of the ratio of two proportional quantities, x and y. So you were given y equals kx. When you solve for k and have k isolated, you get this equation right here k equals y divided by the x. So if you have a table and you cannot, and it, you don't have an x value of zero to check and see if you have a y-intercept or not, you can use this to see if you have a proportional relationship, okay? So what you would do is you would take this y and you would divide it by the corresponding x. So for this part, k would equal 3 over 1, which is just 3. You would check this for each row to see if you get the same number each time. And so for this case, you do get the same number each time. So this is a proportional relationship. For this bottom table here, I have k equals, and I'm going to just take y and divide it by x for each row. 3 divided by 2. And then k equals 6 fourths. When I reduce this, I get 3 halves. So those two are the same. Right here, I have k equals 12 divided by 8. When I reduce this, I get... What do I get? 6 fourths, which is 3 halves. And then when I take this last one, 14 divided by 12, when I reduce this, I get 7 over 6, which is not the same thing as 3 halves. Okay? This is, these are all not. Even though these three are equal, this last one is not. So this is not a proportional relationship. It's non-proportional. Proportional. A non-proportional relationship between two quantities in which one is not a constant multiple of the other. So this is where you have it written in slope-intercept form, but b cannot be equal to zero, okay? So if your b is zero, that means you would have a proportional relationship, but if you have b as any other number, positive or negative, then you would have a non-proportional relationship. And then your graph would not go through the origin because you would have that y-intercept not at zero. So for example, a line like this. Since this line does not go through the origin, it is non-proportional.
So for the first example, is the following situation proportional? Is it a proportional relationship? So it says, in order to become a member at a local gym, there's a $50 startup fee. And then you have a $20 fee for every month. So you would write this as the total amount of dollars that you pay is equal to $20 times each month that you're a member plus the $50 startup fee. So right here, I can tell already that this is a non-proportional relationship because my y-intercept is B. I mean, my y-intercept is 50, or my B is 50. So because of this right here, I this is a non-proportional relationship. Example two, which graph shows a proportional relationship? So over here I have this data, but my y-intercept is 30. So since it does not go through the origin, since my y-intercept is not zero, this one is non-proportional. For this graph, this line does go through the origin. My y-intercept is zero, so this is proportional. Okay, example three, do the following tables show a proportional relationship? Well, since I can't figure, I don't see an x value of zero, I'm going to use the constant of proportionality to see if they're proportional. So I'm going to take my y and divide it by the x for each one. And I get 5 for this one. This one is not equal to 5. This one's going to be 4 and 1 fourth. So right there, I can already tell that this is not a proportional relationship. Okay, let's check this one. I have to take my y and divide it by the corresponding x. So k equals 2 over 6, which is 1 third. Let's check the next row. k equals 3 ninths, which is 1 third. One, 8 over 24, which is 1 third. And for this one, I have 1 over 3, which is 1 third. So this one is proportional. Here's your U try. You are going to label each representation as proportional or non-proportional.